Limbo Singh was born on 27 April 1909 in Nan'an, Fujian, China. He died on 29 June 1944 in prison. Limbo Singh was the 11th child but the first son in his family. His father Lim Shi Ki, also known as Lim Lu, was a brain constructor. Limbo Singh inherited his father's business when the, he died in 1929. He started with running two businesses in brick manufacturing and biscuit production before venturing into building construction together with his brothers. Limbo Singh came to Singapore at the age of 16 to study in Raffles Institution under the British colonial government. He then went on to read business at the University of Hong Kong. When the Second Sino-Japanese War broke out in 1937, Lim and other Chinese in Singapore participated in anti-Japanese activities such as the boycotting of Japanese goods and fundraising to support the war effort in China. Lim Bo Singh was also involved in helping workers in Japanese-owned mines go on strike. On 11 February 1942, Lim Bo Singh left Singapore and traveled to Sumatra, Indonesia with other Chinese community leaders and made his way to India later, as he was a Chinese resistance leader. He recruited and trained hundreds of secret agents through intensive military intelligence missions from China and India. He set up the Sino-British Guerrilla Task Force, Force 136, in mid 1942, together with Captain John Davis of the Special Operations Executive. Limbo Singh was active during Operation Gustavus. Operation Gustavus was aimed at gathering intelligence about Japanese activities, thereby aiding the British in planning their recapture of the colonies, codenamed Operation Zipper. Limbo Singh arrived in Malaya on the 2nd of November 1943 as part of the Gustavus V. He travelled under the alias Tan Chun Lim to avoid identification by the Japanese, claiming to be a businessman when he passed through checkpoints. Limbo Singh joined units which carried small-scale attacks against the Japanese during the Japanese occupation of Malaya. In the end, Rainbow Singh was betrayed by the, by the Malayan People's Anti-Japanese Army, like Tech, and they were caught and they were sent to prison to be severely tortured by the Japanese. After the war, Limbo Singh's remains arrived at the Tanjung Paga Railway Station in Singapore on 7 December 1945. Upon arrival, the hearse was sent off by a large procession of British officers and prominent businessmen from the station to Hock An Biscuit Factory in Upper Serangoon Road via Armenian Street. On the same day, a memorial service for Lim was held at the Tong Te Library of the Kuomintang Association in Singapore. Lim was very famous as when he was taken to the Kempita headquarters for interrogation and he still refused to provide the Japanese with any information about Force 136 despite being subjected to severe torture. Instead, he protested against the ill treatment of his comrades in prison. He fell ill with dysentery and was bedridden by the end of May 1944. Lim died in the early hours on 39 June 1944. Limbo Singh's outstanding traits were bravery, perseverance, and courage.